Hi there. Now for this part then we had to find an eigenvector for the eigenvalue 1. So the answer is that you can have any eigenvector of the form alpha times i. How did I get this? Well, we're given the matrix M then and we know that for any eigenvector with its associated eigenvalue, m times the eigenvector should equal the eigenvalue times the eigenvector. So setting lambda equal to 1, putting it into this equation here, gives us this. And then I multiply out these two matrices, gives me this. And then I can equate each of the rows to x, y, and z. So I've labeled them 1, 2, and 3. And then starting from 1, you can see that x plus 2z equals x. The x's will cancel out, leaving us with z equaling 0. Now because the x's cancel out, they could be any value. So I've said that I'll let that value for x be alpha. Then I've turned my attention to 2, and you'll see that 4y plus z equals y. And then if we rearrange it, we get 3y plus z equals 0. We know that z already equals 0, so if you substitute that in there, you end up with y equaling 0. So what we've got then, if x equals alpha, when the eigenvalue is 1, we end up with an eigenvector then of the form alpha i. Okay?